Garlic holds incredible power in treatments. Many often make simple yet crucial mistakes. As a nutrition expert with 30 years under my belt, I'm excited to reveal the right ways to use garlic, the ideal quantities, and the top benefits. And more important, I'll highlight certain health conditions where garlic is a no-go. Could you stick with us till the end, my friend? You'll be grateful for these eye-opening insights. The right ways to use garlic. When considering the use of garlic in cooking, the choice between minced garlic and garlic cloves often depends on the desired intensity of flavor and the texture of the dish. Minced garlic, due to its smaller size, tends to distribute its flavor more evenly and intensely throughout the dish. It's great for sauces, dressings, or any recipe where you want a strong, uniform garlic flavor. On the other hand, whole garlic cloves provide a subtler taste and can be ideal for roasting, infusing oils, or in dishes where you want the flavor without the bits of garlic, like in some soups or stews. After deciding on the form of garlic to use, let me share with you my favorite go-to recipe, garlic honey. This is a simple yet unique recipe that combines the pungent taste of garlic with the sweetness of honey. To make it, simply peel and slightly crush a few cloves of garlic and immerse them in a jar of honey. Let this mixture sit for a few days to a week, allowing the flavors to infuse. Garlic honey can be used as a spread in salad dressings or even as a natural remedy for coughs. When considering the ideal quantities of garlic for daily consumption, it's important to balance its health benefits with the potential for adverse effects. Here's a guideline for garlic. Fresh garlic, cloves. Consuming one to two cloves of fresh garlic per day is often recommended. This amount is sufficient to harness the health benefits of garlic, like its antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties without overdoing it. You can easily incorporate this amount into your meals, either by cooking or consuming it raw. Garlic powder. If using garlic powder, about 1 8 to 1 4 teaspoon daily is a comparable amount to one clove of garlic. Garlic powder can be a convenient way to add garlic flavor to dishes without the need for fresh cloves. It's important to remember that individual tolerance can vary, and some people may experience side effects such as heartburn, gas, or an upset stomach from consuming garlic, particularly in its raw form. Please stay here, my friend. In the next few minutes, I will discuss why people with certain health conditions should exercise caution when using garlic. Before we move on to discussing who should avoid garlic altogether, let me tell you about the five most important benefits of garlic. Garlic enhances brain health. Its antioxidants protect against cognitive decline, making it true brain food. Heart Health Booster Garlic naturally lowers cholesterol and blood pressure, acting like a heart-friendly supplement. Studies show garlic supplements significantly reduce cholesterol. Natural antibiotic. Garlic is the ancient remedy for infections, fighting bacteria, viruses, and fungi. It's the modern Clove Day health mantra. Immune system enhancer. Garlic wards off colds by boosting the immune system. Adding it to your diet can help keep colds at bay. Blood sugar regulator. Garlic aids in regulating blood sugar levels, making it a natural aid for diabetes and pre-diabetes management. Health conditions to be aware of. After highlighting the benefits of garlic, let's explore five different scenarios where people might want to be cautious about consuming garlic. Garlic breath. Okay, not a health issue, but social suicide? Possibly. If you've got a big meeting or a date, garlic might not be your best choice. No one wants to be remembered as the garlic person. Surgery candidates. Before surgery, doctors often say to avoid garlic. Why? Because of its blood thinning effects. You don't want to turn a routine operation into a scene from a medical drama. Medication interactions. Garlic doesn't always play nice with other meds. It can interfere with certain drugs, including some for HIV. It's like throwing a wrench in your treatment plan. Low thyroid function. Garlic can mess with your thyroid. 
If you're dealing with hypothyroidism, garlic might make it harder for your body to manage. Pregnancy and nursing. While not a strict no, some say that excessive garlic can change the taste of breast milk or potentially harm a developing fetus. Imagine a baby thinking, you, what's that flavor? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up.